Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I will be showing you how to install VST plugins in FL Studio. So the first thing you want to do is create a new folder somewhere on your computer. It doesn't matter too much where that is, uh, just somewhere that makes sense to you. And you can name it whatever you like. I'm going to call it um, my VST. And then whatever VST you've downloaded, um, for me it's CMT Bitcrusher 2. I'm going to open the zip file and you need to extract the um, DLL and just put that into the new folder you created. And then once this file is in that folder, um, you just go back into FL Studio and go to Options, File Settings, and down where it says VST Plugins Extra Search Folder, you click the little file icon to search, um, and then you just locate that folder. So for me, I put that folder in my music. And then there it is, my VST. So you just need to find that folder, um, select it, and hit OK. And now you can see that the folder location is listed right here. Um, now, since this was an effect VST that I just added, I need to go to the mixer and you know go on any track, click to add an effect, um, go up to more, and you can see that it's listed right here, CMT Bitcrusher 2. Now, it's listed because I had this in the folder before I associated the folder with FL Studio. Um, in the future, when I add new VSTs to that folder, I will need to uh, click to refresh and do fast scan. Um, and you'll see that in a moment. But if this is an effect that you think you'll use a lot, you can check this box next to it. And that will make it show up in um, the drop down menu. So you can see CMT Bitcrusher 2 shows up there. And you know, there it is. So that's how you can install um, you know, basic VST plugins. If you're wanting to install a VST that has an installer, like um, Massive, um, I'll show you how to do that now. So you know, just run the installer as normal. Um, so just you know, continue running the installer as normal. And it asks you to select a folder where setup will install files. I'm going to change this to my um, documents. And I'm going to make a new folder for Massive. Um, but you can put that folder wherever makes sense to you. And then after you do that, it's going to ask you where you want to install the VST plugin to. Um, so what I'm going to do is set the location of the 32-bit version to that folder I made earlier. Um, and then I'm going to just continue. And then, you know, just let the installer do its thing. Uh, and then hit finish. And now load up FL Studio again. And uh, the last VST was in effect. Um, Massive is a synthesizer. So now I want to go to channels instead. Um, but then go to add one more. And I need to refresh, like I said before. Since this is uh, after I made that folder. Um, and just fast scan. And you'll see it says one new plugin has been found. And you know it, it's nice because it shows it in red. That's a new plugin. And you know, again, if it's something you think you'll use pretty often, you can hit that box next to it. And if you don't hit the box, it will still show up in here, but it won't show up in, um, like if I close this, it won't show up in this list here. Here you can see that now it's 
just listed right here. So that's how you can install um, VST plugins in FL Studio. Hopefully that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.